The suit filed by the shared leader was billed for hearing on Tuesday following last month's adjournment to allow the respondents appear in court. At the commencement of the case, DSS lawyer Tijani Ghazali asked for more time to file a counter affidavit and written address on the motion and notice filed by the plaintiff. And with no objection to the appeal, Elza Zaki's counsel also requested for an adjournment to allow the team respond to some new issues raised in the proposed counter affidavit. After the day's proceeding, the Federal Government Council insisted that the Islamic cleric is held by security operatives at his will and for his own benefits. When a, a person needs not request for protective custody, if the state security service believes that somebody needs a protective custody, they are duty bound to protect every Nigerian. When one is vulnerable, they are duty bound to protect him. And that is what exactly happened. Not that he is in any detention, not that he is in any cell. The, his counsel are aware of this fact I'm talking about. He's not in detention. He is not in detention and he is having the best of care. The claim was, however, opposed by the applicant's lawyer who said he will get more clarification from his client. We are using the fundamental rights enforcement procedure rules. Now, we have filed our own application insisting that our client should be released based on the fact that his continued detention is a violation of his constitutional right uh, to, to liberty. Now, the state security service has filed a counter affidavit saying that they are holding him in protective custody and that they are holding him in protective custody with his consent. This is a new issue and we have to get back to our client for him to respond to these issues. But the truth of the matter is that as at the time we spoke with him, he never said anything to the effect that he's being held in protective custody for his own benefit. Meanwhile, Justice Gabriel Kolawale has ordered the plaintiff to respond to the new issues on the proposed counter affidavit within five days. He also adjourned the matter to July 13 for hearing of the applicant's suit. Matthew Igauche, PTV News, Abuja.